Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Pretty Poison, a variety gamer from South Africa. So in today's video, we are attempting a shell challenge by Velvet B. So I will link her channel and the challenge video she made in the description so you guys can check it out and also take part if you would like to. There is still time for you guys to try it out. I believe the cutoff date for this challenge is the 28th of May, so there's still plenty of time for you guys to take part. And it is a really interesting shell. Like, when I first looked at the shell, right, I thought, okay, this is easy, it's a small shell. But when I actually started doing the shell challenge, like the interior part specifically, I was like, oh my goodness, I thought it's small, but it kind of isn't small like it feels big when I was doing the interior especially the kitchen like you guys will see in this speed build my kitchen is actually really big it's like off the bottom floor <laughs> I don't know how that happened it just kind of happened and then the living room is like kind of smallish compared to the kitchen but I was trying to make the living room like you know kind of cozy for the family so yeah this family has a very big kitchen so I hope they enjoy cooking for fun, you know, maybe cooking together, that kind of stuff, you know. But yeah, it has three bedrooms. So Velvet B also made three sims for this family. It's a brother and sister, and then the sister has a toddler daughter. So part of the challenge is it must have three bedrooms. You don't have to make it for that family, I think. I can't remember exactly. But... I made it for the family that she made. I thought it would be a nice idea. So yeah, I made then the three bedrooms, a toddler, full bedroom, a main bedroom for the mom, and then the brother kind of has like a teen bedroom even though he's a young adult. I feel like in my build, he is a young adult, but he just recently turned young adult, so he kind of was a teen like yesterday still. So therefore he's still living in his teen bedroom basically <laughs> that that's like what i was going for yeah so yeah okay so for this build i actually spent a lot of time on the exterior which is not something i usually do in my builds like i spend more time in my interior my exterior i just do quick 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 but i really wanted to make it pretty for the family the exterior so I played around a lot of the wall colors and with the trimmings of the walls and all that kind of stuff and I quite like what I did here. Now I know probably a lot of people would flip the house around like the what I use as the back part of the house they might use as the front part of the house because of the wall structure but I kind of just placed it on my lot and went with how it placed. For this house I also wanted to do a lot of like plants on the house itself you know like on the walls and stuff so that's what I did yeah I just laid out all the plants that look like it can go on walls and stuff and then I just played around with it I tried to see what I could do but I didn't really see much I could do with putting plants on the actual walls like it just it didn't fit right for me but one thing I really do love is yeah by the front door you see those plants hanging down from the balcony I just thought that is so beautiful Landscaping is not really one of my strongest points when I do my builds, but I do try, I'm trying to like work on it. So yeah, by the entrance I did this like walk path using terrain paint and then I also sized down the base game rock to make like a border. Then by the backyard I added some bushes and this big tree that they can spend some time under now. I don't feel like this house really needed much of a fence, like I wanted to keep it more open and natural, I don't want to put a fence. So then I just put a little border with the bushes in the back but it doesn't like enclose the lot completely. So that it can blend in a bit better with the surroundings in the neighborhood. So in the garden I also tried to put a lot of ornaments like you know garden gnomes and then I also put the bird feeder by the big tree and then obviously I felt like it needs a barbecue area you know like a chill family barbecue vibe and then i also put this picnic blanket and basket here on the floor because i thought it would be so cute you know if the family has a little picnic of the toddler and there's a splash pool for the toddler so she can like play around in the splash pool and they can just have a fun picnic under the huge tree in the backyard now in the kitchen i played around a bit with where i'm gonna like put the cupboards i ended up using the cupboards from the dream home decorator pack 
Now I know I probably use, like, always use these cupboards. Like, it's just my favorite cupboards. Like, the Dream Home Decorator Packs kitchen cupboards is just the best. <laughs> but in any case, so I made this, like, little middle island that is, like, the where they can sit and eat as well. There will also be a dining table, of course. But this middle island is also where the sim prepares the meals because on the rest of the counters, I'm going to put, like, a lot of clutter. Just to connect the top cupboards to the bottom cupboards, I use these eco lifestyle bars that you can put on the wall just to make that connection so it doesn't look weird with like these floating cupboards in the middle of the kitchen. I mean, it, it's attached by the ceiling, but I felt like it needs more support to the bottom counter. So, and also it looks really pretty, I think. And then I use this bar from the new party essential skin because this bar is just it's a very simple bar but i think it's really beautiful having such a simple bar and then i put this huge round table for the dining table so it can seat like six sims plus there's five that can seat at the counter so i mean they can have a lot of people over maybe they have a big family and then they invite their family over and they can just have a big family meal or dinner or whatever or a party with a lot of friends so I put this couch here by the dining room, but later on I actually do exchange it for a dollhouse because I wanted to put some toys throughout the house for the toddler so that you can see a toddler lives here. Now we're in the living room, so I use these Dream Home Decorator shelves that you can... they like snap together, so I use them for the TV cabinet. And I must say, it is sometimes really difficult working with these shelves the way they snap together, like... Sometimes I just can't get it in the position I want it because it keeps snapping in the wrong way. But I try and make it work. And then in the corner there I put a bookshelf and also a little chair. So they can choose if they want to sit on the couch and read a book or if they want to sit on the little chair and read a book while others are watching TV. You know that kind of vibes. I just, I felt like this little living room is really nice and cozy for a family. I also try to put a lot of clutter because I mean people are living here so where people live there is clutter so I got some picture frames I have some boxes I have the basket with the blankets I have this llama ornament which I love you have book stacks there is a pillow on the floor I also do add a some uh, toddler toys later on and I use black curtains because it matched the cupboards I use for the tv cabinet and then this is just a very basic little downstairs bathroom, so it's just like for guests if they need to pee then they can do that over there. And then I just add some more curtains around the house and I do change them to white. So the living room's curtains are black but the rest will be white. Now in this room, yeah by the entrance, is the basically it's the study room. Now as is with most of my builds to use the computers, you need to first let your sim sit on the chair and then use the computer, otherwise your sim won't use the computer. And it's all because of the clutter. There's a certain side, I read somewhere that it's a certain side if you put clutter. I don't know if it's the left or the right side of the computer, but if you put clutter on a certain side then this happens. But I feel like it's okay, it's still functional, just have to make your sim first sit down and then use the computer. So in this study I also put an elemental rack, so like maybe the brother is like a geeky nerd or whatever, he can like collect the rocks and put it in the element rack. And then this room also has a chess table so they can work on their logic skill. And then I just clutter it up a bit, you know, put a bunch of clutter down and then place it nicely. I also do come back later and add more stuff for the toddler in this room so the toddler can also sit and play in this room while her mom maybe works on the computer or something. And then lastly I just add a few plants as well. I feel like every room should have plants. My real house I don't have plants inside. <laughs> uh, I have one plastic tree though inside but yeah I don't, I'm not really a green thumb person. So you'll see in the kitchen right I'm busy placing all the clutter. So there's the debug zoomers food bag delivery food bag that brown paper bag with stuff inside right so I actually end up having to remove it because it, I didn't know this before but if you place this item on your lot it will make that your sims can't put away food in the fridge it's really stupid and I have another build I did a while back it's a modern container build it's on my gallery 
and I have this issue and I never I could never figure out why my sims can't put food away but now I know so I can actually go and update that bolt but yeah so I'm just placing like a lot of clutter in the kitchen I feel like this they're a cute family like the sims if you look at the sims they are really cute I think they will cook a lot together do a lot of family stuff together you know I just put a little rug there by the entrance there's not much I did by the entrance because there isn't really space to do anything there so I just put a rug there to give it some more life or make it look a bit more decorative in the walkway entrance in the entrance so this is now the brother's room he is a young adult but the room I kind of made like a teenage type of room but in any case, I tried to make it like a geeky, nerdy type of room. So he has like the void critter bed in. And then he's also going to have a computer. I tried to make like a custom computer desk. But once again, I struggled a lot with these Dream Home Decorator all shelvings. Because they don't want to snap the way I want them to snap. So it does look a bit weird, I think, in the end. Like a tiny bit. But... I think one can look past it, it will be okay. Like you see there on the right side, the bottom piece, it like sticks out a bit on the side. But I leave it like that, it is what it is and we will work with it. Now another problem I experienced with these Dream Home Decorator cabinets is I saved my game and I came back later to continue my build. and. Half the cupboards were just gone. Like, I didn't delete them. I don't know what happened. So I had to replace them. So I really hope if you guys download this build from the gallery, it does not make half the cupboards just like vanish. But we'll see. So now I'm just doing the bathroom for the brother. His bathroom gets a shower, not a bathtub. So I was trying to think like what to do with the windows to cover it up since it's a bathroom. But then I use these huge curtains. Now it does go a bit through into the roof. But since there isn't a third floor, it's just a roof. It's okay. I mean, you don't see it from outside. So it's it's not an issue, I think. But then later on, I do realize that that window there is actually not a window, but a sliding door. So oops. <laughs> I do fix it later. But yeah, it's also just like a simple bathtub i love these pictures on the walls it's like the two fishes and it's like black and orange like i can't remember what pack that is like maybe 11 or something but it is so beautiful i really love them and then i'm just adding like a lot of clutter i did put quite a lot of clutter in this room like boxes caps you have some snacks you have some gym stuff stationery he has a box of sneakers magazines some uh, not perfumes cologne he has some combs, he has a diary, creams and a water bottle. So he has a TV by his bed which is functional, you can watch TV and lay on the bed. I also put a gaming console by the clutter but it is not functional so please note you can't use the gaming console unless you edit the room and make it or put a chair next to the bed or something then you can use it I guess. But in my build it's just there for decoration, it's not there to actually function. So you will see the fishbowl they I put on top. It The cupboard next to it, like the little block next to it, is one of the blocks that disappear throughout my bulb. So then I end up just moving the fishbowl in the middle to make it just position better. So I don't end up putting the shelf, the missing shelf back. I just move the fishbowl a bit to the left. And then yeah, this is just the, some posters on the walls, you know, to make the wall a bit more decorative. I put a bedside table now. I didn't clutter it too much because despite him having a lot of clutter elsewhere in the room, I felt like he's still neat. Like it's not messy. It's very neat his bedroom. So yeah, and then some plants here in the corner and then I figured out, oh, that's a sliding door, not a window. <laughs> so then I also gave him a telescope there on his balcony. So now I'm busy doing the mom's room, aka the sister. And once again, I'm having some struggles with these Dream of Decorator shelves, but then I figure it out. Also just quickly check her traits and stuff. She is active and creative. I can't remember the other trait, but those were the ones that st stick out for me. So then I try to make sure that there is stuff for her to do, like the easel for her to paint and there is the 
trade mode for it to be active on. So yeah. I also customized the bed a little bit. I did the same in my previous build. Well, not my previous build, but a few builds back I did the same. I just think it's really pretty. And now I'm just adding like all the clutter for a bedroom, you know, some girly stuff. I also put some toy type of stuff for a toddler daughter. I mean, like sometimes when the mother is painting on the easel, then maybe the toddler, she wants to just be around her mother. So then she can still come into her mother's room and just like play with her toddler toys. And then this is the third bathroom in the house. It is a shared bathroom between the mother and the toddler. So the bathroom, I, I kept the bathroom features like white and then like light brown colors. This bathroom also obviously has a pink body for the little toddler. And also guys, this build has been playtested and I made sure it is functional. Now the only thing with the shared bathroom and the way the stuff is positioned is you can walk right through the bathroom from the one door to the other. But it's just sometimes it's weird sometimes and then instead of going through the nearest door, they will go around all the way to the other door and then go in the bathroom. I don't know why, but they can walk right through it, so I don't understand. But in any case, we just go with it. It is sims, it happens. Now I'm just like positioning all the clutter that I placed for the mother's room. I also thought the sunflower wall art is really pretty. And I really love these hanging stars on the walls. It is so cute. And then just some more clutter in the corner. The books on the bed it also doesn't create any issues. Your sim can still use the bed on both sides. She might just have to scoot over from the one side to the other. But it does work. Now this is the toddler's room. So I wanted to try out something different with the toddler's room that I saw on... I'm not sure if it's Instagram or TikTok I saw this. I saw someone put like curtains around the toddler's bed. And I just thought it is so beautiful. I would love to try this out in one of my builds. So then I chose this build to try it out in. So then you'll see this corner I'm working in is not really a functional corner. It is just there for decoration. So your sim can't actually go into that corner, but there is no need for them to go into that corner anyways. There's nothing useful. So yeah, now I'm just placing like a bunch of toys for the toddler. And I also just made sure throughout the house that there is everything the toddler needs, like the high chair to obviously have her meals and stuff. So now I'm just like placing the clutter everywhere. Like despite that one corner not being functional, I still wanted to make sure it looks pretty, even though you're not really going to use it or see it. And then I just place some stuff on the wall. Like I really love this. It's like a height measurement thingy on the wall. That is from the My First Pets stuff back. Something like that. It is so cute. I really love using it. And then I just place some more like carpets and flowers and stuff around the house. And basically I'm just doing all the final touches. So yeah guys. This is my attempt at the Valid Bee Family Shower Challenge. I hope you guys like this build. Also, I hope you guys try out this challenge. It is really fun. If you do do this challenge, please let me know. I would also love to see all your guys' builds. But I will definitely check it out when Velvet B does her build tours of this challenge. I think she said she'll do it on YouTube and on Twitch. So I look forward to seeing that. So yeah, guys, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one. Poison out.